I can draw the sun with the stars and the moon. I can draw anything. How about you? Ready, set, draw! Hi. So, today, I was thinking that we could make a garden that expresses our feelings. I like to call it an emotion garden. Step one, you will need something to draw on. So I got this nice piece of paper here. Step two, get something to draw with or paint with. It could be crayons, markers, coloring pencils. So first, I'm going to create a line. And that is the ground. I'm feeling maybe the ground could be purple. It could be any color you want. Here we go. Now, what are some things that we could put in our garden? Flowers. Hmm. hmm, maybe this flower could be, because this is an emotion garden, maybe this flower could be sad. Hmm, and what color would you use to describe feeling sad? For me, it's purple, a purple blue color. That's a sad color to me. What other feelings do I have? I feel happy. So this flower is gonna be bright yellow, like this. Maybe really big and bright. Maybe I'll put some little dots like this with my crayon. Show how bright it is. It's a happy flower. Let's not forget the stem. Maybe some green. Like that. Be a red center. Ooh. Hmm. What else do I feel? Angry. Frustrated. This flower is going to be like this. <laughs> Add some spikes to it. Whoa, it's a really angry flower. Add the stem. Yeah, yeah. What else is it that I feel? Oh, sometimes I feel kind of gross, and disgusted. Make it like a flower like this, big blobby flower. Maybe it could be gloopy, purple, green, a bunch of different colors like that. Rose flower. Let's not forget the stem. Okay. Sometimes I feel things that are hard to put into words. So that flower can just just live here. Don't have to name it, it just be. Now, also, I wanna give my flower some roots. My sad flower needs roots. My gross flower needs roots. My happy flower needs roots. My 
flower I don't know how to describe needs roots. My angry flower needs roots. Sometimes I feel a mixture. I feel sad and I feel angry. I feel like I don't know how to describe it. And that can all be one flower. Let's get this one roots as well. Now, just for fun, maybe I can put a little and the gross flower. Little ant. Let's finish these birds. There he is. Sitting. Oh yeah. I'll do a little ant and the happy flower. Finish this bird here. Long legs. And maybe all of the roots can connect. See? Now, there's no perfect emotion garden. Each one is gonna be unique and beautiful in its own way. There. This is my emotion garden. So just remember that whenever you're having really strong feelings, a really great way to express yourself is through art and drawing. 